Podcast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gonkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Well, as you see here, big picture, we continue to monitor more storms. As you take a look at our exclusive live Viper radar, a lot of those storms for the time being have shifted into southern Mississippi. Take a little closer look, and you'll see that we've got a nice little band, a couple pockets out there with lightning. We had reports of some pea sized hail, even quarter sized hail, and that was mainly in southern Mississippi, outside of Louisiana. A lot of those storms are just drifting very slowly up towards the Brookhaven area, a little bit north of Macomb. And they're going to continue in that general direction as we head into the evening. Hours. Now, I think we're going to get a nice little break before we see more storms ignite going into tomorrow. But luckily for us, and it looks like the overall concern for flooding is actually starting to drop. They've actually dropped a couple parishes on the western side now for a flash flood. But here's the concern. That watch still continues at least through tomorrow night. However, take a look at some of the estimates now. We're only talking about maybe a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. And obviously, it's all going to be depending on where those individual pockets reside when we get those storms tomorrow. But as you see, I think a lot of those storms are going to reside just a little bit further north of the viewing area. Remember, all that heavy rainfall really sat along the coastline where they had anywhere from four to six inches of rain. Live tower cam, it's now 70 degrees outside with winds out of the east at about 11 miles per hour. We've got that cloud cover in place, and that's a good thing for us. If we're socked in with those clouds, we don't get that sunshine and heating. Hopefully, we don't get that early tomorrow morning. Then we should fare a little bit better when those storms arrive tomorrow. 71 out there was your official daytime high. Notice again, we should be sitting around 75. We started out at 58 degrees out there. Notice current temperatures at this hour range anywhere from lower 70s to even a couple 60s in the mix. A couple showers out there quickly cooled off a few areas. Tonight, we're going to drop ourselves down into the low to mid 60s out there, still staying rather mild across the region. You notice moving forward, the key here is we've still got the possibility of some severe weather heading into tomorrow. You need to stay weather aware and vigilant just in case if one of those storms do become strong. There is that potential that we could see a couple supercells out there. Otherwise, localized flooding issues. It looks like it's starting to get a little bit better forecast wise for us, but there still is that possibility. We've got a lot of saturated soils out there, a lot of standing water, and it doesn't take much in the way of rainfall. We've got a couple showers expected over the weekend, and then finally a cooler and a drier pattern as we step into next week. So here's the story. Tonight, a marginal risk for severe weather. Most of that sits a little bit further east and north of us, but tomorrow we do. Do sit under a slight risk for severe weather. And as you see here, that is two out of five. The greatest threat sits a little bit further north. Once again, from Mississippi and Alabama, we could be seeing a widespread tornado outbreak. Satellite radar picture just showing you that we've got that band of showers kind of inching northbound at this point, but there still is that potential that we could see more storms kind of fill a little bit further south tonight. As you see, our future track keeping us relatively dry tonight, maybe a few light showers, and then notice how those storms quickly ignite. Mainly in Mississippi and Alabama by the time we get into the afternoon hours, but we could see a couple trailing storms. Again, it just depends on the cloud cover early tomorrow and those winds out there. In fact, we sit under a wind advisor. It's going to be a very breezy day, but luckily, come Friday, we settle down and we get back into a nicer pattern. Maybe the chance for a shower or two as soon as we step into the weekend. So here is that seven day picture for you. It looks like rain estimates have now dropped to about a half an inch to an inch. Locally, we could see some higher amounts. Keep an eye on one or two storms tomorrow that could be somewhat strong to severe. You can always download our free app for the very latest information. And then as you see here, we get past the storms heading into tomorrow evening. Dry on Friday. It's a short break. We'll climb to about 81. We're back into the mid 80s with the possibility of some showers. Maybe off and on heading into Saturday and Sunday and then a little bit of a cooler pattern as soon as we step into Monday.